I think we're live. And I finally figured out how to sit with my phone the right way around so I get better lighting. I should have known this stuff. I'm a photographer. Hi, welcome. To <laughs> that was my inside, inside voice being outside. Um, hi, welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby and not quite as late as the last few nights, but getting it done anyway as, com as committed to myself and to you. For those who don't know me, my name is Barry Selby, as I mentioned. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Um, and in case you're wondering, um, this is in a hotel again, because I'm actually essentially five days at this leadership retreat and uh, conscious business gathering I've spent this weekend at, so that's the context, which is what inspired this talk today, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, this is my 326th talk, by the way, 326 in a row. Um, well, 300, and 300 at least in a row. The first 15, 20 were weekly. Um, and this one, today's topic, 326, Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Today's topic is um, M slash F, not MF, because that means something else. Um, vital key core quality to an awakened relationship. And that's my topic tonight. And I've talked about this before in, in parallel, but I wanted to bring another layer to the conversation to really add something to the tape, uh, add something to the conversation and to table a new idea that might be of relevance to you because it just became very relevant to me in the last couple of weeks. For those of you who watched my broadcast before, or if you have watched my broadcast before, you know at time to time so you got to speak about the masculine and feminine polarity, and particularly about the, the awakened masculine and the divine feminine. In the context of relationship, that's what the MF stands for, by the way. Not male and female, and not M, mother, you know, not that element, but masculine and feminine. So that's what I'm talking about today. <laughs> Sorry, I went down, a, went down a rabbit hole that way. Let me come back up and start again with that. The context of this, the um, relevance of this, is just spent the afternoon talking about spiral dynamics and talking about masculine and feminine um, evolution through that spiral dynamic range. It's pretty interesting stuff we're talking about, but it also hit on a note I've been thinking about for the last mm, two, three weeks. Because one, on one level, having an amazing, powerful, passionate, sexual, fulfilling, dynamic relationship is, a large, is, a lot, is based a lot on having a masculine-feminine partnership in the relationship. And I didn't say male and female, because this applies to gay relationships as well as straight relationships. Your success, or I should say your fulfillment in a relationship does largely come from the polarity that created between the two partners. Whoops, there, on camera, I almost went off camera there. And so masculine partner, feminine partner, is much more polarity like north and south poles and a magnet than two feminine partners or two masculine partners, or where there's neutrality. So that's a big piece that I've talked about before, and I want to just table it again so you know about what we're talking about, but I want to add another layer to that in a moment, so get there in a second. So let me just put this in context. So masculine partner, feminine partner. Generally speaking, in straight couples, the masculine energy is in the male partner and the feminine energy is in the female partner. Not always awakened and not always developed. So this is for those people who are willing to go deeper and have a more powerful relationship than they've ever had before, is you want to really discover, um, develop and claim your authentic na nature, masculine or feminine. I spent a lot of years in, what well, should I say, spend, well, it was a lot of years, I guess, in relationships where I was actually inventing the feminine without realizing it. And it wasn't the developed feminine, it was actually the, I call, I call it the beta male, but frankly, my partners were more masculine than I was. The women I went out with were businesswomen driven, getting things done, and it messed up our love life completely. Even though we had the chemistry, because it was polarity between masculine and feminine, it was reversed, and it wasn't naturally reversed. And that's a whole other topic I've talked about before, I'm going to cover that here. But I'll just do this side, side note, this caveat. If you're a woman who's very dynamic, very driven in your business, getting things done, knocking down goals and making things happen, you might be in your masculine just a little bit too much. And if you don't know how to get out of that, we need to talk. Part of my work with my clients is to help my female clients, because I work with women, to really reclaim their feminine and also learn how to disengage and to um, release the masculine energetic to be fully aligned. Now, before I get to that, the second piece I want to talk about is, and this has been really going for a while and I hadn't really claimed it, I've said before that we all um, embody both masculine and feminine together, that nobody really, in a healthy way, is 100% masculine or 100% feminine. We have a balance of both. So most men will reside mostly, if they're in the masculine, 
maybe like an 80-20 split, like 80% masculine, 20% feminine, or 70% masculine, 30% feminine, 90-10, something like that. Ladies, when you're feminine, will be the inverse of that. So you'll be 80% feminine, which, whichever way it's going to be. 80% feminine, 20% masculine, or 70% feminine, 30% masculine, that sort of thing. What I didn't talk about, and this is the part that really has been present in my mind lately, is how we can actually um, honor, respect, and appreciate, and um, I guess embodiment is the word I would use, both aspects. And I'm saying this because it's up for me right now, literally, as of um, three hours ago, two hours ago, three hours ago. So this is a big topic for a lot of people out there that may not know this. Because when I'm recognizing that I've actually been, um, um, what's I'm looking for? I'm not a victim, well, that's not wrong, I did it myself. I've been guilty of, that's the word I use, guilty. What an interesting word. Um, but, <laughs> but what I've been guilty of is implying that the more you embody one polarity, not the other one, and ignore the other polarity, you can create a great chemistry relationship, which you can. However, to really be whole and be fully expressed in a relationship, each of us, including me, really needs to honor and respect both aspects within ourselves. So for me, being more authentically masculine now, having done all the work to get there, it's time for really embrace and accept and appreciate the developed feminine within me that's been there for all the time. And the energetic, the feminine and energetic that's been inside of me has been a very powerful part of my coaching because the intuition, the softness, the caring, the compassion I have for my clients comes from my feminine, not from my masculine. The masculine holds the container and does a lot of the work but the feminine component comes together. So as a coach, I'm realizing more and more that I need to have great, uh, not need to, wrong word. I do have great reverence and respect for both parts of my masculine and feminine makeup that allow me to be a great coach in the area of love relationships and helping women heal their hearts because it's not so easy for a masculine man to hold the space for a woman to heal her heart without having a certain feminine connection to that. That was probably more than I exposed more than I planned to, but so be it. <laughs> So this, this piece is something I want to share with you that it's an important piece of love and relationships to actually not just create the polarity with your partner where one of you has the masculine embodiment as big as possible and the other partner has the feminine embodiment as big as possible. Well, how you want to energetically show that on my hands. But also to really honor and respect the other polarities you both carry. Yes, when you get into bed for sex and that sort of fun stuff, it's advised, and this is something I, learned, I taught a long time ago, is it's really wonderful as a practice if you're in a relationship or if you're going up with somebody you want to go and have a nice time in bed with, is before you jump into bed together, hi Michelle, nice to see you, is to actually have the time where you spend um, in a ceremonial format, a ritualistic format, is if you're a woman who wants to really own a feminine, is to take her masculine energy, to take her masculine energy and it, um, symbolically and like bundle it up into a ball and give it as a gift to their male partner in trust that he'll take care of it. And then he does the same thing with his feminine energy, give it to his, his female partner for her to take care of. You do that as a part of reverence and respect. Let's just say it really adds to your nightlife. <laughs> but also recognize the fact it's in it in you as well. So this piece I'm dropping on the table, as it were, to suggest to you is that because as all people do, especially if you're awakened and doing this work, you're aware you have both masculine and feminine polarities, and ideally, the more you do this work, the more you have this, um, what I'm calling the awakened masculine and, develop, and the divine feminine. It's not just masculine and feminine polarity, it's an, an awakened and raised and, and um, an inspired level of being. And when you do embrace both parts of yourself, one, you become a more whole person energetically, and you become more um, solid in who you are, which is what I'm working on now. Again, transparency you'll also become much more attractive in a relationship. And this is what I realized I wasn't talking about before, so this is an additive for what I haven't shared for the last 325 broadcasts, is to have embody both parts, because then it makes you more aligned to who you really are. And that's something I'm, my, home, my commitment to you and to myself, as homework for the next, well, for at least for tonight, through the next few days, is to really start seeking places that I can really own and embody my feminine energy in a developed way with my masculine in a way that works together. Because I realize I've been... Okay, total transparency, I've been shutting her down a lot because I was so like driven to get in the masculine because I was out of alignment with that. I've not been, been putting focus, energy, or love towards my feminine energy. And I said, you know what? I need to do that for my own wholeness. So I just came out to all of you with that. <laughs> that for my own health, wholeness, and for my next relationship. Yes, I'm single, ladies. <laughs> okay, I'm not pony that. It's time for me to embody that both. 
So before I go too far down the road of transparency, I'm going to, I'm going to complete this one now. Um, as I mentioned earlier, for those of you who are really stuck in your masculine too much and you're driven so hard, not too much, but you're driven so hard that you forget how to connect to your feminine and you're not sure how to be in a relationship with a man because you don't choose to find the right sort of men, I offer my support. And literally, I offer my support by this. If you go to my website, I have a little thing called Let's Chat, which is my um, gift to you, which is a complimentary clarity conversation. 30-minute chat where I can offer you my support, guidance, and give you some clarity so you know where you want to go next. And yes, I may offer my programs if that fits. Uh, not that I'm going to sell anything to you. you that's your choice to join, tune in. But I will offer you my support and get to discover what you want. So again, on my website, which is barrysilver.com, click on the Let's Chat button, and you can sign up for a discovery session with me as my gift to you. This is my 326th, no, yes, 326th broadcast. And all of these live on my business page, which is barryselby.author, and also on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, is the, play, is the channel, and Message from the Masculine is the playlist. If you want help in the area of love and relationships, you know where to find me. If you have questions or comments about this broadcast, please put them below. If you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them as well. I appreciate that. And homework, yes, I have to give, I've, I've been, I didn't give homework the last few days, but I need to give you homework, because that's kind of my mission as well. If you choose to take this on, I invite you to look into your own life and see where your masculine and feminine energy has been out of balance. If you're a woman and you want to own your feminine, don't discard your masculine. And gentlemen, if you want to embody your masculine in a strong way, in a powerful way, don't discard your feminine energy either. Embody both, inhabit both, welcome both. That's your homework for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, thanks for being with me. I'll be back again tomorrow, number 327. I should be back in my home environment then. I think we're done at the hotel tomorrow. Just don't think it'll be that late. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, send me a message or find out how to find me. Reach out to me on my website and uh, we'll go from there. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.